we arrived at the location we got set up, it just, it felt right. Do you see him? Do you see him? The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ralph. Yep. Cash Boy Outpost. Cash or Bowie. First that's, moose. That's where you shot your first moose. It is my And you made popcorn for us. How I made cool us was popcorn. that? Yeah, welcome to this week's of choice. You know, like Vicki said, we're heading up north to Ontario to Cash Boy Outpost with Fern, Fern Duquette. Yeah. And we're going with Scotty and Bill. And, that's right. You know, the year before, Bill had shot a nice bull. Shot and a really, really nice bull, yeah. And so it's Bill's turn to, to film, film Scott. Scott. That's right. This week's lucky logo, though, is a Maristep. A Maristep. Best ground blinds and tree stands in the world. <laughs> That's so funny. Watch for the logo. We'll tell you at the end of the show what to do with that. So, head north up to Fern, eh? Hey. He's a nut. Yeah, it's Love pretty Fern. good. Love Fern. Fern. He's great. He is. Fern Duquette. <laughs> I can't say his name without laughing. We have had so many laughs together. The guy is is crazy. I was a little nervous at first. A Canadian that doesn't know how to fish or play hockey, but uh, he made up for it because the guy knows how to moose hunt. We have had the worst luck the last few years. Wind, rain, did I mention rain? And then yes, of course, there's the wind. Just could not catch a break. If you've ever moose hunted before, you'll know weather is everything. And we just got the worst luck with weather. It was warm, windy, lots of rain. We actually had some thunder and lightning a few times. We knew the moose were there, but when it's you know 75 degrees and raining and windy, you're just not going to see a moose. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to slip in to this moose's area, right in his core area when it's a still morning. You can usually hear them coming from several hundred yards away. And they're crashing, thrashing the brush, uh, grunting, and uh, it's, you know, your heart is racing 100 miles an hour. Get some of this cheap American gas before we get into Canada. What else we need? Bacon. Bacon! <laughs> After uh, spending a few years up there, we've made some great uh, friendships, and it's always exciting to arrive at camp. <laughs> well, I think this one was Carol. specially built for Ralph C. <laughs> Cerullo. Bill, come and hold it. <laughs> You want to come and hold it? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what draw length is it? I don't, I don't know. It's a full draw, but did you see this? I'm on them. I bet it'll stick in the car. Probably 200 pounds. 1,750 grain broadhead. <laughs> <laughs> Once we arrived at the cabin, we knew we would be uh, living a life of luxury for the next several days. Hot and cold running water, a shower, I had a nice dock, several boats with motors for fishing. We were set. Well, it's our first night fly-in moose hunt. We're, uh, we got here a day or two early and uh, caught some nice walleye today, so we're trying up some nice walleye fillets and uh, getting our energy build up for Monday morning when the moose season starts, rifle season. Everything we want, no wind. We 
which is key so that Moose can hear the calls, which uh, Fern's doing right now. He's going to try and sweet talk a big bull in for us, so uh, wish me luck. here in Ontario and uh, we're going to go back in a little early, get some breakfast and get back out earlier this afternoon and keep, keep doing what we're doing. One of these days we're going to make it happen. It's all fly-in, everything we do is fly-in. And you can either be on a, on a guided hunt or unguided. We've got both options for those that are experienced. They don't necessarily need a guide and that's okay to do, do it that way. For those that like to fish, there's really good fishing at the camps also. We have walleye in northern. And the hunts will last anywhere from seven days to 10 days, whatever group, however long they want to stay. If a group chooses to stay longer than the seven to 10 days, that's, that's fine with us. If they're guided, they'll end up paying the guide on top. And, uh, but if they choose to stay for two weeks, that's okay with us too. Our, our goal is to see them go home with the moose, at least one for a group and, and possibly more. When somebody does get a moose, we'll go up and pick it up and then we haul it back and put it into a refrigerator unit. And it isn't an easy hunt. It a lot uh, is um, uh, dependent on the weather. If the weather's right, quite often, the success will, uh, will be really good and people go home with their moves. Over the years, Archer's Choice has had some amazing hunts with Fern Duquette up at Cachaboy Outposts. Like that time when Fern and Ralph were out hunting together, Fern fired a warning shot into the moose's antlers. Ralph was able to follow that up with a perfect 60 yard shot and the moose went right down. God. No one can forget Vicky's first moose kill up there. You know, the one where she proceeded to shred the back of Ralph's shirt with a second arrow that she had in her hand because she was so excited. Then there was Freddie and Robert killing their first moose with Fern. Freddie's cheeks bouncing and Robert crying like a baby it was hilarious. Here we go. Ready. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> 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 and certainly last but not least, after two years of bad moose weather, I was able to film Bill Ball on our third season as he tipped over a beautiful bull. Scotty, we did it. As you can see, when the weather is right and in your favor, the action is non-stop and it's something that you can do. It's all within your budget. We knew that a big bull had to be close behind.
positive. This particular morning started out pretty slow. After a couple hours into the hunt, a cow moose appeared out in the bog, and we knew that a big bull had to be close behind. She slowly worked her way along the edge of the timber uh, before entering a small pond and began feeding on underwater vegetation. We watched her feed for over an hour, and that big bull that we knew was with her never appeared. Bill Paul and I are running with the Keshebawi outpost. My turn today. We snuck in here real quiet this morning, sitting on a nice little bay. Fern's behind us doing some uh, calling and as a bonus we've got his partner Brian Wallace out sitting with us today. Maybe he'll be our good luck charm. Let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Fern says he's hungry and he'd rather uh, eat bacon and eggs than moose hunt, so I guess we're done hunting for the morning. We got uh, a little bit of a late start due to the weather. Once we arrived at the location we got set up, it just it felt right. Did you see him? Did you see him? After about 30 minutes of calling, Fern was off to our left. I thought I heard a grunt. And oh, five, ten minutes later, there he was. wasn't long at all and Bill said I'm on him and uh, well the rest is history.
Is he down? The ball. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, people. Four years, four years, and it has nothing to do with quality lines up here. I am jinxed, I am jinxed when it comes to outfitters. I thought I got my system up here, it's been the worst. Four years, rain, wind, rain, wind, warm. We've had it all, haven't we? We were sitting at the table last night trying to think how many good days have we had where the weather all lined up, calm, cold, no rain. We've been stuck in the cabin for two and a half days just pouring. This icon, this is a bad mamma jamma. This is definitely my favorite. And I don't think, uh, I don't think you're getting it back, Ralph. Let's, uh, let's go find my moose. Whew, tater. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at the size of this horse. Good lordy. Oh. What do you think? Good job. What do you think? Good shooting. Ah. Nice, nice. Ralph, Vicky, Fern, Bill. Big thanks. I can't thank you guys enough. This is this is a dream come true. Look at. I've had four years to practice on what to say and I am speechless. The wife's jaw's on the floor right now. <laughs> My husband's speechless. <laughs> I always say it's not the uh, size of that rack, it's the size of the smile. And uh, this hunt's a booner. It's a nice place, nice a lot of fun. Way to go. Thanks, brother. Congratulations, Way to go, Scotty. guys. That's, that, awesome. that's it. You know what I mean? That's persistence pays. Cash Boy Outpost, Fern Duquette. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, Fern, right Fern. in Ontario, drivable. You bring all that moose meat home with you. I mean, come yeah. on. You got to pick up load of some of the best eating oh, you'll ever have. It is absolutely the best eating you'll ever have. You know, and that's what it's about going up there. And honestly, we've said it before years ago, and we'll still say it. It's 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 hunting moose on a budget. It is. Hey, lucky logo this week was a Maristep. A Maristep, best ground blinds and tree stands in the world. If you happen to see the Maristep logo, you're gonna log on to thechoicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's gonna win some great stuff from a Maristep. Are you sure? I'm positive, and other stuff too. Yes, lots, lots of, of other goodies. Lots of other stuff, yeah, next week? Next week, we're going to Iowa. Iowa. Can you say it? Late Iowa. season deer hunt in Iowa. Iowa, hunting Gotta love the, it. Food, the food sources in late season. Really? Yep, okay. TC's muzzleloaders are talking our language. Really? Yes. Okay, if you say so. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you next week. In Iowa. Iowa? Iowa. We're in Iowa right now.